said Sharika. Shot. Shot down. I said Shot it right. Shy, as in it's you, you're a shy person. Yeah, but I'm Welcome to the Creative Artistic Showcase. I am Jamel Calhoun. I am sitting here with Lash business owner, Sha Rika Miller. Yes. I said it right. I butchered it a couple times. I ain't gonna lie, we had to put that. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay, so I want to ask you first, what got you into the lash care business? Um, I've always been into beauty, so um, at a young age, I just kind of knew I wanted to evolve in the beauty industry, but I didn't really know where my placement was, so I actually started off doing hair. <laughs> okay. And my hair led to people like asking me to put their lashes on, like, can you put my strips on? I'm like, oh, okay, you know, and then I liked it. And I was like, I just want to do this. <laughs> I like doing this. I just like putting the lash on. And then I like the the enhancement of it. Like, you know, just making people feel more beautiful than they are. So, yeah, it, that's that's kind of where that came from, uh, doing hair. And then people were asking me to put their lashes on. So, I started off, like, doing lash strips and clusters and stuff. And then I later on got into the individuals. Okay. Uh, how does your business contribute to people's overall well-being and confidence? Like, how can a woman come into your shop, get uh, her lash care taken care of, and do you know? Um, uh, <laughs> being a lash technician, it's like we kind of fall up under other titles too. We mm -hmm. we turn our sessions into therapy sometimes, and. I hear a lot of girls, or a lot of girls tell me, like, thank you so much, you know, just having somebody um, confident to talk to, and then, um, like I said, just boosting their, enhancing their beauty itself, like, everybody's beautiful in their own way, but if you add some lashes, a little lip gloss, like, we feel good after that, you know, like, just like getting our hair done, after we get our hair done, we want everybody to see, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, it's time to get outside, so, just that enhancement, um, I feel like it it, 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 it gives people, um, like, I don't know what word to use, confidence, like, just that enhancement gives them that confidence, um, within themselves. Some people feel like they can't go without their lashes, they need their lashes, so me personally, I don't wear lashes all the time, but I love when I get my lashes done, it does enhance my appearance. And it, it compliments. Well, when I do lashes, I try to map the styles to complement each client's face. So it like you can do um, like some girls have downward turn eyes, and just giving them that correct lash map, we can bring them back, pull them up, give you a, a open look, you know. And the ladies they love it, and I love the reaction afterwards. The, just the confidence they get. Oh, you see my my client earlier; she couldn't wait. There we go. Okay. There we go. And what ways does beauty care business promote? And this is not just for lashes, but the beauty care business as a whole promote uh, self-care and self-love? Um, I feel like just taking that time for yourself to um, pamper yourself and give yourself that that self-love that we're speaking of, I feel like that within itself is um, just rejuvenating. It's a good... Um, it's a good therapy outlet. Like I said, sometimes my clients come in here and sometimes they just want my conversation or they want me to listen to them. So it's all one big um, testimony, basically. Like, you know, just that time, us being able to go, book my appointment, go and have that time for myself, whether you have kids, you know, or you have busy work week, it's, it, it's the same, like, going to the spa, you know, it, it's needed, it's very much needed, it's a lifestyle also, so, once you start, you get kind of addicted. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's an escape for the world too, man. Yeah. yeah, it is. Just come, you get a nap. Like all my clients were sleeping. <laughs> she was sleeping. She was sleeping. <laughs> all early. my clients sleep. I have some clients they get into a deep snore, like, Damn. and they be like, "I needed that," you know. So it's it's. It's a stress reliever too. Yeah, right? it's a stress reliever. It's very much a whole therapy session. Like I'm telling you, <laughs> the girls love it. Three, they take their three hours, and it'll start off, you know, um, a therapy session, and then it'll turn into their nap, and then they have their celebration <laughs> afterwards. I love it. What do you do outside of running a business? <laughs> run business. <laughs> hey, never, work, work, don't stop. Work I never stops for me. Like, even when I try to, like, I'll have my wind down time and I'm like, I don't want to do anything about business. But then I'll get on the internet and I'm having my time to myself and everything I look at is lashes. So now I'm watching somebody else do lashes. <laughs> you know, so I'm always doing business. Even when I'm like out, I'm always promoting my business. I don't know, my business consumes the majority of my life. That's all I have. I don't. Do any well, I go to the gym sometimes, but I don't do anything else outside of here. Okay, I appreciate nice. dedication, you know. Yeah, okay. And uh, how important is the beauty business, you know, as a whole, whether it's makeup, hair, lashes, spas, all that? With beauty, the thing for beauty, the demand is always going to be there, it's always something new, it's always going to be hair, nails. Lashes, the demand is um, always going to be there. So, as a whole, what was the question? I was asking, uh, how important is a beauty business? To me, or just period? Like, period, like, well, it's, all a, over it's a billion dollar industry. Like, without beauty, I really don't know what the girls would do. I don't know what we would be doing. We need it. I would say that with beauty business, women basically created their own system of uh, businesses and cash flow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's something that people probably don't see, but y'all yeah. created your own billion dollar business. Yeah, okay. and it's always gonna be in demand. Like you can't go wrong with taking a, a trade or a, um, a course in beauty, and you know, cause it's, it's always gonna be in demand. We started out doing hair and kitchen, and look at everybody now, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's always gonna be in demand. It's gonna to continue to grow. Like right now, they say it's a two point eight billion dollar industry. Like probably more than that. Yeah, that was probably last year when I looked at those quotes. So yeah, definitely probably more than that. Yeah, because a person, a person could be broke. But they still don't get their hair done. They still don't get their nails done. Yes. They still don't get lashes or whatnot. Nobody's gonna sponsor that. It's 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 it's, it's always revolving. Uh huh. It's never going anywhere. I don't ever see the beauty industry dying. Like I just feel like that's something that we're always gonna have. It's always gonna be around. It's always gonna be new techniques, new um, innovations, new things, and new people. You know, so it's it's it's, it's very important. For women. My name is Shy, owner of Bella Lash Co. Where we specialize in lash extensions and brows. You can book us at bellalashco.com. We're located at 5548 Truth, Kansas City, Missouri. Thank you. And what are some ways uh, your business promotes inclusivity and diversity? Um. So, um, inclusivity, what does that mean? You know, um, I mean, because uh, there, there's a women of basically different cultures besides okay. just, you know, one of your own. Yeah. Um, so, with lashes, anybody can get lashes. Mm -hmm. We have we have different colors. We have different types. Um, anybody can get lashes. It's, it's definitely a flexible um, industry. We have brown lashes, we got gray lashes, we got all color lashes, every color, like you can imagine if somebody want to be red today, they can go get all the red lashes put on, so it's very diverse, and like, um, just like with clients and everything, everybody get lashes, mm -hmm. every culture gets lashes, I've serviced all type of different people. Oh, and what's something that you know, your, your customers, when they come in, they leave, that they have, that they take away from this place? Um, I always give little 
gifts and stuff, but uh, besides that, I feel like they always just know that they have a safe place, um, somewhere comfortable, somewhere where they can um, relax and, again, talk in, you know, their own setting, however they want to talk, feel comfortable if they need to tell their biggest secret, they're always safe here, but I just feel like um, the most thing that they get is me. Like, they get me, um, I get that I'm very kind. Um, I think the girls just really love my therapy sessions. Like, we literally talk, chop it up. I talk it up with all my clients. I'm always, where, where you going? What you doing? What you got going on? You know, I haven't seen you, what you been doing? So, I think that's, that's what they love the most mm -hmm. about me. Okay, and we probably already talked about this a little bit, but how does the industry uh, contribute to the economic growth and job creation? Oh, definitely. So, even though the beauty industry is a billion dollar industry and it's forever growing, the lash industry is like something a lot of people are just now stumbling on. So, um, with that, it's a lot of jobs and opportunity being created. And then, not only do you have to do lashes, there's other things that go with that that you can get into. Like, for me, I've started teaching, you know, and there's you're able to grow and be able to you know, help other people get into the industry and show and teach and I just, uh, just a lot that comes with last year. Just a good industry period. My brain is right today. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you uh, see yourself, let's say five years from now, where you uh, see yourself taking your brand art? Are you going to also branch out, because uh, you're doing lashes, and you got mm -hmm. the business here, and you got women coming here and getting service done, you got the uh, education thing going on with teaching them. Uh, are you going to start taking it a little higher stuff? Like, are you going to reach out to, like, start doing a little bit? Well, you do, do you make up here, too, sometimes? Yeah. Okay, so you're already doing that. Yeah. Okay. We do makeup, we do brows and lashes, of course, and then, like I said, I teach classes. So, um, in, the wrong, in the long run, it might be faster than five years because I've already been like taking the steps to get there. But um, my end plan is to get from up under the chair. I don't plan on being uh, to do lashes mm -hmm. too much longer. I'm 30, I'll be 31 in May. So I can't see myself being like 34, 35, still talking about book me, you know. So mm -hmm. that's why I started implicating my classes and um, I'm on a bigger location. I would like to get like a warehouse style or something like that. I still want to sell my items as far as my lash trades and different stuff like that. But I just really want to create an environment for girls to come and be able to work and also learn. So that's like my end game or uh, my five year plan, my three to five year plan right now. I'm trying to establish a bigger location so that I can do more with students and have a, I would like to let them have a space to work out, to claim their clientele or figure out, you know, what their uh, journey or their plan is going to be after, you know, um, learning the last technique. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I, can, I can definitely feel your passion uh, for the industry. Uh, where can people uh, find your social media and business pages? Um, I have uh, Instagram at Bella Lash Co. 816 and you can also follow me on Facebook under Sharika Miller and I also have a business page Bella Lash Co. on Facebook. Yes, and you can book online at BellaLashCo.com. Alright, now drop all her uh, social medias and things like that in the description below. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time in this interview. This was great. No, thank you uh, for yeah, we're going to have to do something like this again soon. Definitely. All right, see you next time. <laughs> if you liked that episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Later.